Okay, here we go. It's time for another treasure hunt. I went through two of the plastic bins and just got them all out for you guys so we don't have to waste time digging through the bags. So I got them all out and we're just going to go through each one. And I'll try to keep this as short as possible. We'll start up here at the top. This one is a 2011 Stalker modern figure. I really like this figure. Again, very highly detailed. A lot of equipment, a really nice tactical vest with the knife, the scabbard, all the extra pouches. It's got the sidearm and the an extra knife with the silencer there. And you won't lose it because it's got a it's got a it's bigger at the top when it slides in. It's got extra extra pouches here for for ammo. Another three more ammo pouches back here really nice figure this is sergeant stalker and this was put out in 2011 it's a 30th anniversary this is version 13 and he's the ranger and the scout and the tracker for gi joe 30th anniversary version 13 really nice figure happy to get that all right now we're going to move on to a spy troops uh figure this is from 2003. This is Ricondo from Series 19. This was Iron Grenadier versus Ricondo. And this is version 3 of Ricondo. Um, I'm not really crazy about the uh, Spy Troops figures, although they are a little bit better than uh, the Valor versus Venom, I think. Um Although he, he's pretty decent. I mean, he's got a good paint job. Good paint job. Got the nice uh, tan camo pants, the boots, and nice, uh, nicely detailed tack vest with the pistol. A little smoke grenade there. But uh, all in all, pretty, pretty decent looking figure. But that's Recondo. So let's move on. And here's another... One similar to that. I believe this is... I'm not sure if this is Spy Troops or what. But this is Heavy Duty Version 4. Heavy Ordnance Specialist Series 18 from 2002. This came in a two-pack versus... Yeah, this is Valor versus Venom. Claws. See how the bodies are different? They don't have the O-rings. Uh, I didn't really care for these figures that much. Still collectible. Plus, they kind of looked a little whimsical as far as uh, they don't look uh, very real. I mean, they're not as real as that Ricondo is. So, this is version 4 from 2002. Came in a 2-pack versus Claws and Skullbuster, I guess. So... So he may have been in one. He's missing his weapon there, I think. A lot of these were just single figures. Although I got a huge bag full of equipment and I'll show you guys that when I get a chance to pull it out. But that's heavy duty version 4. Let's move on. Now we've got series 19 2003 roadblock. Tiger Force roadblock with this big huge Gatlin gun or whatever you want to call it. Chain gun. Um... Black Plastic, 2003, Tiger Force 2-pack with Wild Bill. You see he's got some ammo around his uh, arms there. No pistol in the holster again. But uh, Tiger Force just means he's got a vest that has the orange and black stripes on it. But that is Roadblock version 10. It's not too bad. It is an O-ring figure, so uh, I like the O-ring figures. But it is after the year 1994, so they're con considered modern figures. This is a 2002 G.I. Joe Dusty. And I believe this is an O-ring figure also. This is version 8 from series 18. Came in a two-pack with claws. 
Yep. G.I. Joe versus Cobra was the uh, two-pack name. And that is Dusty. Not too bad. A little bit of detail. He's seen some play. He's a little loose. And now we're getting into some really nice custom stuff, which I like to call the uh, top-of-the-line stuff. This is 2008 Snake Eyes. We've got a lot of Snake Eyes to go through here. This is the 25th anniversary Snake Eyes in the blue with the black uh, accessories. Came with a lot of weapons. But this is version 31 from series 24. And I like it. It's not my favorite Snake Eyes. But it's pretty cool. This is version 31. He came with this weapon here, which is a rocket launcher, I believe, of some sort. Came with an extra automatic weapon here. And a pistol, extra pistol. If you can see that. And there it is there. And he's also got a pistol in his holster here. If you can see that. There you go. And he's also sporting a nice knife. His, his uh, notorious rucksack that he carries. Um, no extra cartridges or anything, but just a black tactical strap vest. But that's Snake Eyes, version 31. Hey, at least it's below 50, right? Now we got a 2004 Back Blast, and this came with, uh, I believe it came with some kind of vehicle. Yeah, it did. But he's an anti-aircraft specialist. Um, he's got a pretty cool looking helmet. But this is Back Blast from 2004 Series 20, version number 3. And he came with the neutralizer tank, a single tank one-man tank I do have it and so that is back blast he is a the neutralizer tank driver and that's from 2004 which is considered very modern now here's one of my favorite favorite snake eyes figures and this is the 2008 oh I dropped it Oh, I hate it when I do that. Well, I may have to find it later. He dropped his pistol or something fell out. That's too bad. Okay. Oh, he dropped his shoe. That's what it was. It's these darn cleats that won't stay on. These snowshoes. If you can see that. He's wearing these snowshoes. One of his snowshoes came off. I'm taking that off right away. He came with this extra weapon. And here's the figure itself. And I like this one is because uh, I read the comic book series. And that necklace is Weasel Skulls. And they were given to him by Quinn after he saved his life. Quinn was actually supposed to kill him. And uh, the mercenary that Quinn is and... A deadly hunter and tracker that he is tracked down Snake Eyes, but ended up Snake Eyes ended up saving his life. So he couldn't kill Snake Eyes. He had to honor him. But there was a big long story involved. And this is Snake Eyes, 2008 Arctic Snake Eyes version 35 from the Fourth Wave Single Packs, 2008. I really like that figure. He's got the Sierra Gordo uh, pants on, but he's an Arctic. He's got the Arctic jacket. So, let's move on. I'll have to find that shoe here in a minute. You hit the floor, and I'm not going to dig for it. Now we got a 2002 Duke version 10 from G.I. Joe Versus Series Duke Versus Cobra Commander. And... I can hold that still for you. He does have a sidearm. He is complete. He's got his little uh, sat radio there. 
and let's see if I can get this to focus better. Very good detail. Same uh, year as that Ricondo figure. So there's really good detail. Great paint jobs on these guys. I mean, look at the boots. And great paint jobs. They're not O-ring figures, though. when they uh, jumped up to the two-piece torso and legs there. It's got a backpack. Wearing the, uh, wearing the helmet. Tan tactical vest with the gray straps. And that is Duke version 10. And let's move on to another Snake Eyes Series 16 version 9. And don't quote me on this, but I think he painted this. It looks like it's been painted, but I'm not sure. I can't be sure. I think it is though. I think it's been painted silver just to give it the highlights. Um, I wish he wouldn't have done that, but it's, I've got another one of these in the pack still. But this is from your 2000s version 9 Snake Eyes 2 pack with Storm Shadow. I have an actual error card. One uh, says Big Ben with white out, but it has Snake Eyes and, and Storm Shadow in it. But this is Series 16 from the year 2000, version 9, Snake Eyes. Um, this is kind of the version everybody kind of likes. But uh, they like that 1985 version. But this is uh, more of a modern figure. Still no ring, though. Okay, let's keep rolling. This next one here is Duke. And boy, he was something to put this all together. But this is Duke version 43, Team Commander from 2011, Pursuit of Cobra. This is from the first wave. And look at that contraption of a gun he's got on there. And it was pretty wild to put that all together. And he's got came with two other rifles with it. And it's even got the wiring in the back. Pretty cool weapon, just kind of uh, really... Got to carefully put that together. <laughs> but uh, trying to get that so you can focus to see it better. But that's a pretty cool figure. This is from, it's version 443 from 2011. Team Commander, First Wave Pursuit of Cobra, Duke. Pretty nice figure with the removable hat and everything. I don't know if I would have that contraption on him but i guess i would display him with that for sure okay let's move along we got dart version three pathfinder i've got a couple of these that's one of those uh from 2004 again with the highly detailed paint apps on them look at all the paint on that it looks great really good job on these but it's still it's just not my cup of tea for gi joe's I like the version one, the vintage one's better, but that is Dart, the Pathfinder, and it came with the gun station, which I do have. Excuse me, my printer's going off right now. This next one is Dusty Desert Trooper, version 5, from 2002. And it was boxed with the Night Rhino. Um, looks like Flint to me. But that is Dusty version 5, Desert Trooper. Uh, from 2002, 2018. Or Series 18, sorry. 2002, Series 18. But uh, getting back to the O-ring figures, though. I like that uh, from 2002. And now we have a 2006... And they're calling this version one because they don't call it Stalker. They're calling it Lorenzo Wilkinson from Detroit. 22nd series version one, but we all know him as Sergeant Stalker. To me, that is not a version one. I don't know why they have that version one. Lonzo R. Wilkinson. So, they call that a version one? I don't think so. busy doing a movie. I'll bring it to you in a minute. 
Okay, now we got... Where were we? Oh, this is a cool snake eyes. Another one of my favorites. This is version 52 from 2010. Um, it does have a wolf. It came with a wolf. Uh, First Wade Pursuit of Cobra Series 26 Snake Eyes. Highly detailed, all black. And he's got the hooks for the uh, for his guns, for his machine guns, which is cool. And he's got the attachable katana in the back. Very cool looking snake eyes. Got the knee pads, nice boots. Really cool. Did a good job on the detail on the vest and all that. That's the snake eyes I really like, that style. It's still not my favorite one. Getting close though. But that's version 52 from 2010. Now we got another snake eyes. And this came in a third wave comic pack with Storm Shadow. This is 25th anniversary. This is version 25. And what a really nice job they did on this one. That's pretty sweet. Snake eyes there. All the gear. She's got the, the pouch, of course. Tack vest. Pistol. And two of his automatic weapons in each hand. I don't know if he came with a sword or not. I don't see one here, so maybe not. That's from the Third Wave Comic Pack. What year was that? 2008. Oh, they're saying it's version 32. Okay, I was wrong. Excuse me. It's Snake Eyes and Timber, Series 24. From 2008 version 32 all right now we're getting back to some a vintage vintage one here 1992 real american hero cobra headhunters but i usually make these guys iron grenadiers i didn't like the drug eliminator thing that they were doing but this is version one from the drug eliminator force it's Cobra Headhunters. A good army builder. But uh, he's in really good shape. Um, I'll have to find all his weapons and stuff. I got a lot of work to do putting all these uh, weapons together for all these guys. But that is Cobra Headhunters. Now we have from 1986. Version 1 Thrasher. The Dreadnought. We remember him from the cartoons. Uh, he's the driver of the Thunder Machine. Remember, he had to come in and, uh, and kind of initiate himself into the Dreadnoughts. And he did it by using his Thunder Machine. And he still got in, even though he failed. <laughs> he failed to kill, uh, I think, it, who was he after? I believe it was Gung Ho or somebody. But, uh, yeah, he, he failed to kill him, but he still got in anyway. Because Zartan liked his his uh, zeal, I guess. But that is Dreadnought Thrasher. Version 1 of him. And this is in excellent shape. It's very good. Hardly no paint missing or anything like that. Maybe a little on the hands. A little bit of play, not much. Now we've got a 1994 version 3 Battlecore Major Blood. And I just, I just don't care for this figure at all. It looks kind of like a superhero kind of stuff, but it's not, I don't know. It just doesn't look like Major Blood to me, maybe in the face. But I didn't really like the Battle Corps. But it is a vintage figure, and he's in great shape. So that is his version 3 from Battle Corps. Series 13, Major Blood. All right, here's one who I think is kind of cool, and I just because of the blades he has with him. And this is Razor Claw version one from 2004. He's a feral berserker for Cobra. Um, so he's a raging man, mad madman with blades, right? And I'm sure he's got some quirks about him, but these fold in and out like that, like so. 
pretty cool and they fold back just kind of a little gimmick but uh i think it's all in all it's a pretty cool figure i, I like it i like the paint scheme on it with the red and the gray and the black and uh he does have a uh, removable belt uh, i'm sure he has some other weapons i'll just have to look it up to find out but that is razor claw version one from 2004 now this one has seen some play and then uh, it was painted this is a lampreys version two but from 1990 sonic fighters but he's been repainted with some not very good paint so i'm not going to spend much time on him he's a uh, it's kind of a parts figure. He's got a broken hand. So, very loose head. But that's version 2 Lampreys. He's been painted over. And I don't care for that orange. But uh, Lampreys, 1990. Now, this is a cool figure. I was glad to get. 1986 Xandar, version 1. And he's a Dreadnought. Zartan's brother. It's very cool. Uh, we needed some more Dreadnoughts at the time. And that's Xandar. I'll have to dig out his... Uh, hopefully he's got his uh, equipment and stuff in there. But pretty good shape. Not bad. Xandar Vintage Figure 1986 from Series 5. And now we got a couple of... They're calling these Headhunters, but I'm not sure if they were called Headhunters, but... These are Elite Urban Crime Guards. And I've got two of them, and they're in excellent shape. From Series 12, 1993 Cobra Terrorists. They're calling them Headhunter Version 1. I don't think that's correct, but I'll have to look those guys up for sure. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments which guys these are. I don't think they're Headhunters, because we just seen a Headhunter. Maybe... Uh, he just mispronounced it or something. But I got two of them, and they look like they're great army builders, for sure. I'd like to have about ten of those guys with uh, matching weapons and stuff would look really cool. But uh, they're from 1993, so they are vintage. And now we got a Wild Weasel version 3, series 20 from 2004. The Cobra Night Adder Pilot. And I do have the Night Adder. I have a brand new Night Adder with Weasel in it already. But here's an extra one. It's in good shape. It's always good to have some extra pilots for my Night Ravens. I have three Night Ravens, I believe, and a couple others. But a lot of flying vehicles for Cobra. But that was version 3 from Series 20 from 2004. Now we get into a really cool vintage one I was happy to see. 1985 version 1 Ripper. And there he is. He's one of the original Dreadnoughts. And seen a lot of cartoon time. Especially in Series 1 of the cartoon series. But this is version 1 Ripper, the Dreadnought. In excellent shape. No broken hands, nothing. Very cool. 1985. So I am getting some nice vintage figures here. I was really happy to get. And now we got a 1991 Mercer version 2. The guy with the metal arm. And he's the Cobra Trader. <laughs> I guess he uh, eventually came over to the G.I. Joes and helped them. So he was a double agent there for a minute. But uh, works for G.I. Joe now, is what they says on here. He's a little bit loose. He's seen a lot of play. I, I, I can see why, because he's just a really cool figure. I mean, as a kid, I would play with this guy a lot. But that is uh, 1991 version 2 Mercer. Now we've got another army builder here, and I, hopefully I've got all the equipment for these guys. But these are Toxo Vipers from 1988, version 1. And there's two of them, and they're in excellent shape. I just hope all their gear is there. These are great army builders, too. Um, the purple uniforms. 
they really stand out. But these are Toxo Vipers from Series 7, 1988, version 1. So we got two of those guys. I'm going to try and hurry up and so I can get through the rest of these. I'm probably only going to get through a couple more and I'll have to stop. But here's, I like this. this is one of my favorite vintage, kind of vintage uh, Zartans. This is from 2003, though. It's version 3 from 2001, I'm sorry, of Zartan. It's the one that doesn't have that change, that skin change thing on it. And uh, that's why I like this, because it looks cool. It's not faded. It's just a regular Zartan. I'll have to find his equipment and stuff. All right, I got time for two more, but we'll do them together because I have Tomax and Zamot. I was really happy to see both of those guys in there in excellent condition. Although I only see he's only got one of the weapons, but I think they came with something else, a zip line or something. But this is from 1985. Tomax and Zamot, the twins. And they're in excellent condition, man. I'm, I was happy to get those. I think we're going to stop right there. And I'll be back with more in version 6, I believe. I think it's version 5. I may be wrong. But uh, I got so many more to go through. And this is such a blast going through this collection and seeing what all I, I received. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. This is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal. Have a good evening, everybody.